We're all about max youth rating here on the channel. We've got plenty of videos where we do max youth rating, loads of money and all that jazz, usually in a versus style kind of thing. Well, today we've got max youth rating once again, but it's for every single nation in the game. What will happen? Will the status quo change or will it just be much of a muchness? Well, let's go and find out, shall we? Yes, here we go, ladles and jelly spoons. Welcome back to the channel. Jay Wow back with you. Don't know what that is. Oh, hang on. The German national team. I've has it been a, what's happened here? I'd sorted this. Well, there we go then. Germany, first 20 years, not gonna be in the experiment properly. Anyway, let's go France. We'll have a we'll go and have a look. Look, France. If 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 it ever wants to load, just take your time, game. Just take your sweet time, football manager. What the fuck's going on? There we go. Youth rating, 200 for France. Nigeria, 200 out of 200 once again. South Korea, 200 out of 200. Need I say more? I think not. So, we've simulated through well over 100 years. I think it's probably about 150 years, truth be told. And we're going to see what happens. Will the status quo change? Now, of course, the first 10, 15 years, players will start to come through, but it'll be a bit of a slow process. There might be a few here and there. So... We're going to go through at intervals. We're going to come back. We're going to look over the shortlist. We're going to see where the best players in the world are. Maybe look at some of the national teams and see where the national, the world rankings are. If we have a look at the world rankings, just quickly. I mean, this is this is this is real life, isn't it? Argentina and France equal first. Got Brazil, England, Belgium, Croatia, Netherlands, Italy, Portugal, Spain. Blah 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 blah. I don't need to keep reading them out. You can see as well as bloody I can. So this one might this will change massively. We might get a a, a, a hot few hot prospects coming through for Greece, and all of a sudden the. 2004, revisited, might do something. Unfortunately, Austria might not do anything in the first 20 years, so our main man, Ralph, will probably not win any trophies. But we will check in on him, because we're only going to go 15 years at the first interval. We're going to go to 2038, and we're going to get straight to it. Let's get there. Now, one thing I neglected to mention, a lot of people will always say, oh, it's all about the leagues that are loaded which will do better. Well, if we go and have a look at the leagues that I've got loaded, I've got the Australian League, the Austrian League, Colombian, Indonesian, Japanese, Mexico, Peru, Sweden, and Wales. None of the top nations, none of the top leagues. We have got a lot of teams that, if it is all about leagues loaded, these guys will rise to the top. I forgot to mention that in the intro. And of course, with this amount of leagues loaded, it takes a while. So in terms of current ability, the best player in the world is Aiden Hughes and he's Scottish and he's an absolute demon. He's listed because the club do not think he has a long-term future with them. Listed for £84 million at 29 years old. Now, I'm not a guy that goes and buys players at that age. But let me tell you this. I might buy him for £84 million. How good is he? Arsenal got him for 11.25. Bloody hell. Uruguayan Santiago Martikarina. Uh, also amazing 1.5 million from defensive sporting and psg are just laughing their way to the bank what a player victor pap croatia goalkeeper charlie ward man city right back or right winger 5 million from charlton andres fernandez paraguayan frederick backland for psg again so swedish center back another croatian so that's the first nation with two it is croatia and he's a very good player as well. And that's that's now the end of the 190s in terms of current ability. Going down to 189, we've got... Um, sorry, that's 189 there. Sorry, 190 was uh, Frederick Backland. Anders Schultz for Denmark. He's gone to Al Etifak. I feel like he's wasted. Goalkeeper as well. Fatis Selic, Arsenal. Danny, Daniel Nikitin, German. Arsenal. Bosnian, Edis Suljic. Syrian, Ali Al Gayeb. A couple of Brazilians here, a Venezuelan, a Senegalese, a Finnish, a Chinese. Somebody order a Chinese? Not bad. Not bad indeed. Not bad indeed. Well, there's a world ranking then. Let's have a look and see if we see any anomalies. Well, first of all, straight off the bat, we see France are still first. Argentina were equal first 15 years ago. They're now currently fifth. England are down in sixth. We've got Brazil, Italy and Spain. So all much of a muchness up here. Ivory Coast in the top 10. Netherlands down in 10th. Germany down in 16th. Now, that, for me, feels disproportionately low. And I don't know why they've still got some grayed-out players, because they've got just regens in the squad. So, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Because, also, Netherlands have the same thing, don't they? 
I know, they've got some real players like Shaquille Van Persie and that. Maybe, I don't know why the Netherlands are all right, but Germany's not. Sander Mass, oh God, long time viewers of the channel who might have watched the Sunderland save, all 17 of you might remember Sander Mass. Great player. Might have been an attacking mid in central mid then, yeah. Very similar sort of breakdown. What was his ability there? 159 out of 163. I mean, I don't know what he was because he didn't have the in-game editor installed on that save game, but he was about that because he was great for me for a time and then we he fell out of the team when we got a little bit better. Awkward. Anyway, anyway, so we are looking at France who are top of this pile. There's a World Cups then. Who has won the World Cups? It's been Spain, France, France. Ireland, runner-up in 2030. Well, isn't that interesting? Of course, they do have Evan Ferguson who's still there as a real player. Still at Brighton. Spent his entire career at Brighton. What the bloody hell's happened there? Mental. Of course, Man City have been dominant in the Premier League. Newcastle have won one. Fine. Very surprised at that, though. I mean, in terms of the Irish team, in terms of the potential ability, they don't look amazing, do they? I mean, said that, neither do France. Neither do France. They've got a few players in the 160s, 170s, but they don't look like, they don't look like world beaters, do they? The Euros has been won by France, Netherlands, Portugal and Italy. So, Italy can run up twice as well, and France run up twice. So, it, nothing's really changed in uh, in Europe or the World Cup as, as such. Um, the Copper America, anything happening in that region of the world? Ecuador in 2032. Ecuador won the Copper America in 2032, which was six years ago. So, a lot of these players would have still been there in the, in the early 20s. Yeah, early to mid 20s. They would have all been there in some capacity. Gonzalo Nazareno. Looking at the Champions League, it's just, it's the usual suspects. And I'm not too sure whether I've done the right thing with the nations that we've got loaded, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, looking looking over. Oh, Thomas Frank's in charge of Scotland. I'm looking at the Edit Nation. Still got 200 out of 200 in terms of their uh, generated players. Is Ralph a knocking about? No, Ralph hasn't. It was gone. Ralph's gone. Okay, nothing's happened really. Nothing much has happened so far. So let's go another 15 years, 2053. Okay. Okay, we're here in the shortlist, and Jesus Christ. Aurelian Wolf, bloody hell, what a player. Signed for 116 million from Chelsea to City. Chelsea have got Raphael, 98 million pounds they spent on him. Taisuki Tsukegi for PSG, 190. He's 32 years old. 199 was his potential. Did he ever get there? Mm, 32, he's probably not been declining too much, but maybe he has declined a few attribute points. Kaz Kaz Kazumasa Otsuka, PSG again, also Japanese. Bloody hell, 8.25 million pounds. God, they spent less than 12 million pounds on two players that are 189 and 199. Uh, Countability. Another French, Ahmed Leberton, 30 years old, not quite hit his potential. Difficult to understand why. Nigerian Chibuiki Babatunde, 27.5 million from Salzburg, PSG once again. Another French, bloody hell, that's the third French in this top set of few. So French have probably done really well in the last 15 years. Then we've got two more for PSG. We've got a Bulgarian and a Colombian. And I think we're going to leave it there in terms of the players. Well, PSG have almost certainly been winning Champions Leagues. Yeah, they have. Look at that. Because they've got like, the best six players in the world. Of course they've won Champions Leagues. Why wouldn't they have won Champions Leagues? France. Now. So things are starting to happen. 2042, 11 years ago. So maybe we might have to go back and have a look at some of these things. But look at this. Mexico beating Uruguay in the final of the World Cup, which is not something we expected to see. England beating France in 2038. We were here in this summer, so we hadn't seen this World Cup, had we? Uh, France then beat the Netherlands. France have got some of the best players in the world. And Portugal beating Japan. As we've just seen, Japan have got two of the best players in the world at the moment. So three years ago, that would have been the case because they would have been in their peak. Almost certainly, anyway. In terms of Euros, it's been Italy, Spain, and then two for France. Norway runner-up. Yeah, boring. Copper America, off Ecuador in 2032. Not really much happening. Brazil, Argentina have just walked away with it. Still got 200 for the their generated players. In terms of another world ranking then, Mexico are the best team in the world, apparently. France, England, Brazil, Japan are fifth. And the Ivory Coast slipped from seventh to tenth. Austria up in 11th here. Who won Austria? You ever had Ralph in charge? No. Had Patrick Vieira though. Germany down in 20th. It doesn't look good for the old Germans, does it? It does not look good for the old Germans. They've got a good side as well. What can you say? Croatia down in 31st. Did not expect that. Just scrolling down just to see if I can see anyone unusual this far low down. And we're not really seeing anything. So, 
Yeah, not a lot happening there. But Japan in the top five. Almost certainly they've been winning the Asian Nations Cup. And they have, yes. They've won the last two. Australia won in 2044. The Australian League is loaded. Oh, Noah Wade. Wade. <laughs> I nearly went sound Australian then. Noah Wade. Uh, 191 current potential ability. 148 current ability. Age 34. He's never made it, has he? Oh, he never made it. He never made it. Bloody hell. Mitchell Harkin. Don't know why I singled him out. Not that great, is he? Maybe the name. Let's look at the Mexicans then. With Louis Arke in charge. 187 for Carlos Felipe Magana. Magana. 78 million from Al Khalij to Manchester City. He was at Atlas Tigres and he went to Al Khalij. The transfers, oh, 78 million to them. 10.5 to Al Khalij. That's not too bad, is it? Luis Romero. Don't know what I did there. Trying to roll my R's and I can't. So he's on the way down at 33. Unfortunately, Edda Liberato. 23, not a bad player indeed. He's at 156 currently, but he's got a 178 potential. I think a few of the players that probably won that World Cup have retired, unfortunately. So should we go back and have a quick look at that Mexican team? I think it's important. We are, we are journeying through, but I think it's important to come back and look at some of these anomalies. And the first team to actually go and win it out of the ordinary was Mexico. And here they are. So Andres Chitiva is in charge. Is he still in charge? He... he no, no, it was Henry Martin. Henry Martin, beautiful Mexican name. He's Mexican as well. Did not expect him to be Mexican. Is that a little dash? Is that a little dash instead of a dot on the eye? Maybe it's Martin, which adds an, a little bit more Mexicanity to it. Is Mexicanity a word? It's definitely not a word. Definitely not a word. Mexicanness, still not a word. Let's look at the squad, shall we? All right, Luis Romero. We've just seen him at the grand old age of 33. You've got it all to come, Luis. Gabriel Gonzalez at 22. Was he there? Maybe. Eric Martinez. Eric with a CK. Bid from Man City, £11.25 million. Carlos Alvarez, a very Mexican name, 30 years young. Johnny Gutierrez, 23. 23? Irish? What's that? I don't even know what happened then. Don't even know what happened. Aaron Ramirez. Another Ramirez. And Velazquez, Giovanni, apparently. I'm sorry, this team's shit. They won the World Cup. Disappointing. Disabloody pointing. They've got 200 generated players. No, best player in the world. Yeah, Santiago Matacarena, Uruguayan. Uh, let's go to. We were at 2053. We're going 2068. Another 15 years in the books. I think we're going to do this with no youth rating for every team as well. Like zero, like one youth rating for every nation and see what happens with that. Actually, I'm definitely going to do that. Okay, shortlist then. 199, Portuguese Bremer Jalo. 31 years young, £46 million from Porto. Pietro Cesaroni, PSG once more. Jared Robles from Manchester United. Come through their youth academy, 192, potential 195. All three of those top three players in the world are 31. Then we go to 32, Ege Yumlu for Turkey. Another player for Paris Saint-Germain. Jorge Gonzalez for Real Madrid, 191. He's hit his potential and he's an absolute beast. £205 million from PSG. Martin Andre Nordskag. What a name that is. Nordskag. Going to an experiment near you soon, I expect. Unless I forget. Remind me in the comments the Nordskag name. Nimrod Bakar, Israel. Now that's the first time we've seen an Israelite in this experiment. And he's done the rounds, hasn't he? He's just gone to United for £118 million the other bloody day. Moved to Chelsea for £97 million from Dortmund. £43 million from Damak. And he came to Damak for £7 million from Santos Laguma. Uh, Andrzej Machalek. Uh, we'll go with that. I'm not saying it again. PSG. Very good player. £170 million from United. Paul Bochum. I don't know. Austrian. Ross Booth. Barcelona. Goalkeeper. Rossi boy. Dovan Howe. Belgian. Vietnamese second nationality. Again, been around the houses. Under £25 million from United. Re flip reversal blazing squad style from old Nimrod Bakar. Thanos. For Salzburg. Gone to Salzburg from Bayern for £117 million. Sorry? £117 million to the Austrian League from Bayern Munich. Well, Salzburg are winning it every season. They've got some big money. Okay, so some, something might be happening internationally. Thanos has made a big move to Austria. The Greek. Uh, I'm probably going to leave it there. It's still, it is the usual suspects, really, apart from Salzburg. Austria are eighth in the in the world in the terms of world ranking. So Mexico second, Brazil first. We've got Portugal, Argentina, France. 
Austria 8th, Japan 9th, Colombia 10th, Nigeria 11th. All ahead of Italy and Belgium. Germany back down in 21st. They've just been getting worse and worse every time we come back. The Netherlands down in 29th. Bloody hell, you didn't expect that, did you? Neither did I. Hence, going up in terms of my voice pitch. Czechia, Norway, 33rd, 34th. Croatia down in 45th. One behind Turkey, two behind Switzerland. Bulgaria in 50th. Greece in 57th. Republic of Ireland in 60th. Former World Cup runners-up, I believe. And we're getting down to near 100. I'm not expecting to see any huge nations down here. And we're not. We're not, are we? So, okay, let's go and have a look and see who's won some trophies. Let's have a look at Brazil, shall we? And go straight to the Copa America. Why not? And it's been all Brazil in the last 15 years, except Mexico did nick it in 2060. Fair play. But Portugal. Portugal are the team. Currently third in the world. Plenty of World Cups in the last few years. They've got Bremer Jallo, as we've seen. They've got Pedro Pereira. Tiago Costa. Again, these players, were they over 180? Maybe they got there. Marcelo Monroy maybe didn't quite get there. Probably would have got to the 170s though and started to slip away. A very good side. A very good side for Portugal. Despite winning that, they have not won a singular Euros in that time. They've come run up to England in 2064. Who did win it though? Denmark in 2056. Have they managed to do anything? They've got a couple of alright players. Eagle-eyed viewers will have seen. Austria did come runner-up in the Euros. Now Mexico are loaded. So the fact that they've won some trophies, Copa Americas, World Cups, it's interesting. Austria run up in the World Cup. Again, interesting. But, and Japan. So maybe we are seeing a little bit more happening with these teams because they're loaded into the database. Generated players still at 200 out of 200 for Austria. We've looked at the Euros and we've looked at the World Cup. I don't know why I've come to Austria to try and get to it. I don't know if I've come to Belgium. For God's sake. Give me a team that's bloody won it. England have won them both. Yeah, so England won it most recently. Only just won it, to be fair. Yeah, obviously, France beat Austria, Denmark beat Germany, France beat Norway, and we were last here. We were last here in 53, so we'd already seen the France beat Norway. So, yeah, is, is, is there a lot happening? I'd argue not. Max Youth rating for every nation is, is having much of a muchness. We're going to continue. We are going to continue. Another 15 years. Let's go to 2083. Okay, well, here we go then. Here we go, ladies and jelly spoons. We are rocking and rolling. We've got Amin Toomey, Algeria. 198 signed for uh, from ABBA for 63 million pounds for Barcelona. We've got Peruvian Juan Torres, is a, also a very good player playing for RB Salzburg in Austria. Let's just remember that, shall we? Still not won a Champions League, so let's not remember it. Who cares? Uh, Mohamed Yeboah, Dutch for Man United goalkeeper, Nikola Jankovic at Italy, Serbian. At Italy, at Inter, Serbian goalkeeper. Dimo Kuzmanov, Bulgarian centre-back for Real Madrid. Yang Yafeng, a Chelsea Chinese import. £190 million from Barcelona. Dieter Klauck, Dortmund, German. Slavko Gujic, Chelsea, Croatian. Not a bad player as well. Another 186, a Krista Engvall for Manchester United. Swedish, don't know why I pronounced that with a V, but I did. Elliot van den Bosch, who looks like a bit of a van den Bosch, doesn't he? Goalkeeper between the sticks, Bayern Munich, £43 million from Anderlecht. And two for Colombia, mate. Ricardo Perez in the 180s and Ivan Lopez in the 180s. He's now at Salzburg, £1.8 million from Junior. Indonesia, Olia Setaiwan of Salzburg, 180 out of 194. The, the, play, the t leagues we got loaded are starting. Colombian again. Right. Colombia, three Copper Americas in a row. Not surprising. Not surprising. Colombia have done very well. They are fifth in the world. Fair play. Look at this then. Mexico first, Argentina second, England third, Japan fourth, Colombia fifth. Peru and Austria ninth and tenth. Austria, Colombia, Peru, Mexico, Japan. So, having leagues loaded, there's a lot to that. There is a lot to that. The, 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 you've got the leagues loaded there's a higher probability that they'll be up higher. And look at that. Portugal, multiple-time World Cup winners Portugal, down in 16th. Slumming it with Serbia and Chile. Germany back up in 12th. Italy 13th. Belgium down in 25th. Norway 29th. Denmark and the Ivory Coast. Denmark, former Euro winners just a few years ago. Indonesia up in 37th. I'm sure they were in the hundreds to begin with. If they were, what a climb. Miley Cyrus style. 
Poland down in 52nd with Jamaica, Canada, China, Romania back down here. Yeah, Slovenia, Slovakia, sorry, 71st. We looked in, we looked in on World Cups, right? No, we haven't. And look at that. Norway have won a World Cup. Argentina have won a World Cup. Austria have won a World Cup, beating Germany in the final just a few years ago. And the squad is decent. Lots of 170s and 160s. Actually, the majority of them is 160s and 170s. Two of them also 158. Very good squad options. I'll be honest with you, I'm not surprised they've won with a squad like that. Fair play to them. Fair play to them. Indeed. Have they won a Euros? Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it, they have in 2076, seven years ago, beating the Netherlands in the final. That was that was after they came run up to Spain in 2072. And we were last year in 2068, so we've not been here for a while. But Austria have been runners up a few times. They've really started to kick on. Fair play. Uh, should we go to 2098? Yeah, we're still going. We're still simming. We've gone over 100 years. Don't you worry about that, ladies and gentlemen. We are well over 100 years in this experiment. I think we're probably close to 150. Oh, here we go. We've got a Mexican, a Colombian, two Austrians in the top four. German, French, Greek, Indonesian, Austrian. Three Austrians in the top, what, 10? I'm impressed. I am impressed. Let's have a look at some of these players. Jair de Jesus Cazares, by Munich. Sebastian Lopez at Salzburg, 1.4 million. You know what? He doesn't look that great, but he's a 189. Johannes Berg, again, at Salzburg. Uh, Jeremy Baum at Os uh, Barcelona, sorry. Another Austrian. Labino Bagage at Bayern Munich. Herve Casabianca, a Frenchman. Uh, let's have a look at Ramat Fathani. Ramat Fatoni at Manchester United. Oh, sorry, Bayern Munich. 140 million from Ajax. Ferdinand Mulbauer. Oof, brilliant. PSG. Champions League's been won by usual suspects. Ben Fika nicking one, maybe slightly out of the ordinary. Go straight into me potatoes of the World Cups then in the last seven. Uh, when we last here? When we last here? 2083. So Austria had won. We've got France, Portugal, and Brazil. Austria run up again once. Croatia, France, and Portugal. Uh, in England, sorry. Austria run up three times in a row. Oh, Portugal also as well. Last year, what? 15 years ago. So four tournaments have happened. Austria, three time runner up. Third in the world ranking. Colombia top. Brazil, Austria, Mexico, Portugal, Argentina. Peru and Japan are there. How many Copa Americas have they won? Do you know what? Just the one more beating Peru in the final. We've got Argentina with three in a row. Beating Colombia twice and Peru once. So what are you going to do? Mental. Anyway, yeah, and we move again. And again, we've got some big players here. And there's Simone Firmura at Barcelona. Italian, under £11 million from AC Milan, 198. We've got Neofumi Harigaya at Atletico Madrid. Signed for £93 million from Alquadzia. Japanese. We've got German Carrillo, who's actually Colombian, despite his name's German. Playing for Bayern Munich, we've got Guillaume Mercier, a Belgian, also playing for Bayern Munich. We've got Martin Castex, AC Milan, a Frenchman. And that concludes the 190s. We've got Walid Al Shamrani at Manchester United, a Saudi Arabian who is pretty, pretty decent. £204 million from SCR Altach. Probably worth every single penny, to be honest. Uh, we've got Belarusian Anton Smirnov back here. How are Belarus doing in terms of their max use rating? Still got it, still got 200. Well, they're 12th in the world, Belarus, as well. Oh, on that later. But Junior Hidalgo, a Peruvian. Peruvian goalkeeper playing for Salzburg. They won the Champions League yet. Still no Champions League. They've, they've just stopped winning the league. Oof. Dearie me. Right, should we go and have a look at some international accolades? Firstly, we're going to look at Colombia. How are Colombia doing? Copper America. Since we were last here. In 2098, so Colombia had won against Peru and then they've won it again against Mexico. Ecuador beating Brazil and then Brazil with two more. Copper Americas. But in terms of World Cups, well, we've had Colombia versus Japan. Colombia have won it. We've had Indonesia third, Austria runner up to Spain, and then Peru beating Colombia. So we've got three of our leagues, four of our leagues in the top three. Five, sorry, Australia third in this tournament. So our leagues loaded are representing. Go on, lads. Oh, 198 uh, youth generated players for Australia. They're down in 16th. Peru, a top-ranked team in the world with Brazil in second, shortly, closely followed by Colombia. We've got Spain, Argentina, Portugal, Mexico, Austria, Japan, Belgium. Jimmy's still up there. England down in 15th, just ahead of Australia in 16th. Italy in 17th. Can you believe that? Netherlands 19th. It's just all madness, isn't it? It's all absolute madness. Czechia, 42nd. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, so it's just all a bit madness, isn't it? Should we keep going? Let's keep going. 
Yeah, we've got a Kosovan, Emir Rexby at Inter Milan. We're going to try and rattle through some of this now. We've got Koki Sinemata at Japan. We've got Adrian Fingerhut, <laughs> Austrian. Adrian Fingerhut, what a name. Elig Hack, uh, Aust Australian, and he's also at Salzburg. Still never won a Champions League, but they won a Club World Championship. Work that one out. Uh, Felix Shad, Austrian. Rodrigo Peña, um, Peruvian. Santiago Figueroa at Salzburg, a Uruguayan. You've got Nesta Padilla, an Ecuadorian. Another Peruvian in Ricardo Diaz. He's at Bayern Munich. We've got loads of players at Salzburg as well. Bojan Jodic, Roma, Swede. I think we're going to call it there. Vanuatuan of Peter Crouch podcast fame, Vanuatu. A few more Austrians. Any more tournament wins for Austria? No, but Belarus have won the Euros, beating Gibraltar in 21-16. Nick Batsby, 190 current uh, potential ability. Never got there. Belarus beating uh, Gibraltar. Insane. That was the Euros now to, for the World Cup. Another win for Belarus. This time in the World Cup, beating Mexico in the final. We've had Austria and Chile in the final losing out. Mexico winning England with two. Have we got um, Chile or Belarus? No Chile or Belarus in terms of trophies. Uh, in terms of league loaded, sorry. Colombia, South America. They've won it once and so have Mexico in the last few years. So it's been sort of there or thereabouts. They've not done too badly. Um, shall we Shall we look at the top ranked teams in the world? Have we already been done it this time? I'm not sure if we have. It's all blown into one for me. Sorry, gang. Uh, shall we go to the end? I'm going to go to the end of the experiment. I know there's not going to be a true representation of the shortlist, but I'm probably going to come and have a look at some of the squads if they go on a bit of a tear. So let's go to the end of where I've simulated to. So for those of you who've got number OCD, I do apologise. We've come 141 years into the future. For those of you who are not bothered, then yeah, like me, you won't be bothered. But apologies to those who are and lack a nice round number. There's a short list. There's the world players then. We've got we've got Garne and Kofi Ibrahim. We've got an Uzbekistan player, Dilshod Jumaev. Mexican Arthur Gonzalez, Kevin Shearer, English, Peruvian, Alberto Flores, Indonesia, Austria. Austrian Premier Division back with Salzburg winning it. They've won six Champions Leagues. They finally won some Champions Leagues. About bloody time. About bloody time indeed. Fair play to them. They've actually finally gone and bloody done it. Austria are down in ninth. But they're the current winners of the Euros. Current European holders beating Netherlands in the final. We've had France, England and Netherlands winning it as well as England, Belgium, England. Do we even want to go back and look at the golden generation of England? Because I don't. Current World Cup winners, Germany beating Colombia in the final. Colombia beat the Democratic Democratic Republic of Combo. Combo? Oh, start that again. DR Congo in the final. Austria beat Senegal the season before that. Peru have won in 2046 as well, beating Czechia. Colombia in 2030. Were we here for that? I don't think so. I think it was 2123 we were last here. So Mexico beating Chile is also news to us, I believe. And I'm on Colombia, they are fourth in the world. And as you can see, we've had Argentina, Colombia, Mexico, and Brazil, and Peru winning the Copa America. Maybe Mexico in 2021-24 as well. They're currently ranked second in the world, our Mexico, behind Peru, with Brazil third, Colombia fourth, England fifth, Uruguay and Argentina equal sixth, Japan and Austria are there. So in terms of the league's loader, we've got Peru, Mexico, Colombia, uh, uh, Japan, and Austria. Five of the seven leagues loaded that I've got are in the top ten. For me, that does speak volumes. That you've got a league loaded. It is more likely to perform well on the international seed. Seed on the international scene. Does it matter? I don't know if it matters too much, but that's coded into the game. And of course, you've got Australia up in 18th. That's a big climb for them. Indonesia in 22nd. Another big climb. Wales in 25th. Huge. So that'll be it. I mean, what have we learned? Max Sheets waiting for everyone. Produces a lot of good players. They sort of cancel each other out. We've seen loads in the 190s and 180s in this experiment. Loads every single time we came back in. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to go and do the minimum youth rating for every single nation. We're going to check in on certain nations and see if it does actually grow in a dynamic fashion. I would imagine it probably will do. How many of these players will be awful coming through the system, though? Will in 15, 20 years' time from the start, will we end up with players with like 160 being the best player in the world? It's quite possible. Probably not going to happen, but I'd be very interested to see it actually happen, and I'd, I'd love to see it. So we're going to make that as an experiment, so let me know down in the comments if you've got any other ideas in this regard that you want me to do. Or, if you want to just say hello, I'll say hello back. Or, ask a question, whatever, I'll always get back to you. Do take good care of yourselves though, gang. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I don't even think I asked for subscribers earlier. We're nearing or over 10,000. If we are, whether we are or not, this thank you means the same. I do appreciate every single person who subscribed. 
nearly 10,000 people, or over 10,000 at the time of recording, who, who knows, nearly 10,000 people have clicked a button to subscribe to me, dick about on Football Manager. I just haven't got words, so thank you so much. I'm very humbled, and I hope to keep bringing good experiments that you all enjoy, and other things. Big ideas for FM25. Stay tuned. See you soon. Take good care of yourselves as well.